Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today, uh, I'm gonna show you something different. Instead of showing you my plans, I want to show you a couple of projects I worked on recently, uh, as well as a few items I got from uh, Home Goods or um, TJ Maxx. So, in front of you, you can see two shelving units with my plants. And uh, they're exactly identical, and I got this from IKEA, and they are retail for $59.99. So as you can imagine, I'm running out of space for my plants, and so of course I need to um, utilize my space to the maximum. And also I wa uh, watched uh, Nick's video uh, a few months ago where he showed his um, plant shelf. I really liked the look, and I knew that he's plant shelf would be too high for my space that's why I got this too instead uh, I'm sure you know uh, which Nick I'm talking about right um, if you're a houseplant lover I'm sure you probably have already subscribed to this channel so um, uh, the assembling part was pretty easy I would say I don't do a lot of DIY stuff um, but the first one took me about I think two hours to assemble the second one was about a little bit over an hour the instructions are pretty clear I would say and I will link the uh, product in the dis description box down below so you can go to IKEA's website to check it out and read the reviews I know you cannot really see the shelves well in this video because I'm already against the window and I can't really go further back. But if you're interested, just go to um, the website to, to check it out. So here's the first thing I would like to show you. So in front of you, you can see um, two ZZ plants and two planters. I got these two planters from um, Home Goods. Uh, originally, they were in uh, wood color and I um, I would stand uh, these two planters to match my TV console. Um, so the process was really easy. I basically just used this uh, few items. The first one um, is uh, uh, sandpaper. I used uh, 120. Actually, I don't think it's ne necessary as it, um, there are planters. So I don't think it matters that much if you if you send it or not but um, I did it I used a 120 grit one and the second one I actually made a mistake because I should have um, I should have taken a picture of my TV console and do like the color matching so I, I should I mean I could have gotten a better color but instead I just went to the store and uh, got this one and uh, when I applied um, the wood stand, I found out actually it didn't really match my TV console and I wasn't really I'm too happy with uh, the color. Um, I actually like the color alone. The, the problem was it didn't really match my TV console. So I went back to um, Home Depot and got this one instead, um, Mahogany. I should have probably just got this one to, to begin with. So that was my mistake and uh, lastly I just used this one uh, as a finish I think all in all like it turned out pretty well I mean the colors don't match a hundred percent but I feel like you know the colors good enough um, so that's what I did I'm gonna insert a picture of um, how the planters look before I I stand them Here's something else I want to show you. So um, you can see this dog actually matches my planters. And when I saw this one, I was like, oh, he's just too cute. Um, so I couldn't resist. Um, yeah, so I'm ha very happy I, I got it. So he was, uh, I think, $24.99. 
and the printers I just show you they were not cheap they were um, $19.99 each but um, one of them actually had a crack so I asked for a discount and they um, they sold it to me for $17 so one was $19.99 the other one was $17 okay so here's the last thing I would like to show you um, so we are in my bedroom right now as you can see everything is purple I love purple just can't help it um, so I got this uh, four planters from TJ Maxx and they uh, two of them are identical and this two should be identical but as you can see the one on the left is not as purple as uh, the one on the right which is fine so I put four uh, sensibaria in the planters the planters actually don't have drainage holes so I keep the nursery pots and they were $4.99 each I just think they look really good on, on my dresser This is actually not really like low light. I think they're they're in like a kind of like medium light condition. So it's not too bad. Okay, so that's everything I want to show you today. Thank you for watching. Bye.